Today we're in Leewood, Kansas, considered to be uh, by many one of the richest zip codes in all of Kansas. Today we're at the City Hall, and as usual we're going to take some video here on public property and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. Is that going to be on the news or published? Or? Not on the news, no, we're not with the news. No. Oh, okay. yeah, this, is, this is the city manager. Hello, Hi. how are you? You're a city manager. Yep. guys watching the watchman here out with amagansett press and today we're in leewood kansas uh here in the kansas city metro area uh which is considered to be uh by many one of the richest zip codes in all of kansas and today we're at the city hall and And as usual, we're going to take some video here on public property and in the public building and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. Today is Monday, May 16th, 2022. It is 419 p.m. and 81 degrees and sunny. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So we've actually been to Kansas before. Uh, we did a video in Wichita. And uh, if you check out my Kansas playlist, you'll see that video on this one. Those are the only two here in Kansas. And uh, never done a city hall in Kansas, so uh, should be interesting to see how it goes. Very nice uh, area here. So hopefully all goes well. As you guys know, that's uh, the outcome we're hoping for, but uh, not always the one we get. So stand by. says this fountain was given in loving memory of Mr. and Mrs. Edward Marsh. I don't want to kill the last name. D-O-U-T-H-A-T, do that. Senior, by their family and for the enjoyment of the people of Leeward. Well, thank you very much. Let's see what kind of signage we have on the doors here. So let's see. We have the uh, City Hall hours, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And this sign, which I'm happy to see because I am exercising my 2A today, uh, but not openly, so good deal. We actually checked the log before we got here. Good to see uh, corresponding signage on the door. That's not always the case. Mr. Watchman, uh, sir. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> My turn, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is cool. Uh. Parks and Recreation Administration, Counter. Very cool. We don't want man on the camera right now, but I'm sure they're close by. Mm -hmm. Look, they have a restricted access door, wide open. Huh. <laughs> 
always wonder why they do that. Maybe it's uh, I'm sure it's convenience, but uh, maybe uh, helps the air circulation in the building. Makes it cooler back there for them. So I don't know if you can see this, but it says children must be accompanied by an adult. Watchman, stay close. <laughs> So Municipal Office's directory, which was right under the plaque we just looked at. You guys can pause that and take a look at it if you're interested in all the offices that are here. And we have the council chambers. So no meeting going on right now, but here's the rules in case you uh, do want to speak at the meeting. Open. Yeah, it is cool. Nice. It's been a while since I've been in a uh, council chamber. Um, yeah. Very cool. council chambers. These folks are very privileged to have this uh, beautiful facility to work in. And we are very privileged to be able to visit it. And then uh, give you the view here in case you do ever decide to come to Leewood and speak at one of their meetings. This is, uh, this will be your view. Very cool. Very cool. Each division does. And can I just ask your first name and what you do here? It's Melissa, and I'm the admin for the city council. Got you. Very cool. My name is Jason Melissa. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Very cool. I appreciate all the information. Yeah, no, and then downstairs is the um, Parks and Rec Department, so like their admin side. Okay. And then they have a desk just like this too, where the public comes in for the public or for the Parks and Rec gotcha. uh, program. Okay. Very cool. I really appreciate the smile and the information. And if we have any other questions, we'll yeah, come right back to you. They, they Well, it's a beautiful building. I'm glad they do. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. Must be the uh, sister city, Taiwan. Yeah. That's cool. It is cool. Have a good evening. You too. Yeah, it's very cool. Upstairs, what's going on up there? Sure, okay. Oh, Watson's going for the stairs. I figured him for the elevator. You always like going up the elevator. Might as well uh, check out the stuff they got on the walls up here. Yeah, not much to see in the elevator, that's true. Yeah. And going up the stairs makes my watch happy. Building permit. 
I was just going to ask you what exactly codes administration does, but I guess building permits, yes. all the stuff listed there. I saw it right before I was about to ask you. Yeah. Can I just ask your first name and what you do here? I'm the permit technician. My name's Christine. Christine, my name's Jason. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. We have a beautiful building to work in here. Yeah, we like it. Yeah, it's nice. Hello. Hi there. You didn't think we were going to be planning a development out, right? <laughs> Oh, we're just making a little video about your beautiful building and your city hall. And, and, and is that going to be on the news or published? Or? Not on the news. No, we're not with the news. No. It may be. You know what? I, don't, I, don't, I never say yes or no sure. because I have to go back and edit it and see what it is and see what the interest is and, you know, that kind of thing. So we never know until we're done. Oh, it's just myself. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just me. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Well, welcome. Yep. And can I just ask your first name and what you do here? My name is Debbie. Planning assistant. My name's Jason, Debbie. Hi, Jason. Pleasure to meet you. Ben, nice to meet you. Beautiful place you have to work here. And so far, full of some very friendly, lovely people. So that's, can't argue with that. And you know what? Maybe you could straighten me out on something. I know that Leewood is one of the wealthier zip codes in Kansas. Is it the top zip code in Kansas? Do you know offhand or? Um, I don't know that, I think, but I do know that it's one of the wealthiest counties in the country. One of the wealthiest counties in the country. Okay, there you go. Cool. Very good. And you live here in Leewood? Um, I do. Very cool. We won't hold that against you. No, that's okay. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Very cool. I'm actually from originally, I was the poor guy in town, but I'm from East Hampton, New York. I'm from oh, the Hamptons. Well, from so, Hamptons. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know how it is to be around all that money and uh, not have any, you know. But I certainly appreciate you, Debbie. Thank you so much. We'll let you get back to work. All right. Have a Thank great you. day. Thank you. This is a conference room. lights on in here for you. Very cool. One of the wealthiest counties in the country. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, didn't. Right. I guess Overland Park, Sam County. Yeah, so all you folks in East Hampton that are looking for some place to go a little further west, put uh, Leewood on your map. Just make sure we turn the lights out before we leave. Leave it how you found it, kind of like a cattle gate. Right? Yeah. If it's open, leave it open. If it's closed, leave it closed. You know, big cattleman that I am. <laughs> All right, and then here we have Public Works. And we have a sign up that says, the Public Works Administrative Services Assistant is currently in a meeting. Please feel free to use the lobby phone to call for assistance by dialing 130 or 133 or use your personal device and dial the phone number. Thank you so much for understanding. We have a little info here about Leewood Bridge. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. I and mean, if this keeps going this way, we're going to have to uh, see if the city manager is available and tell him what a wonderful crew he's got here. Yeah. Is that it? Is it just. Was there a. Uh... It looked like there was another hallway over there. Was that just like a door to the back or something? Yeah, I think that was just a door to the back. Yeah. I do believe. Yeah. So is it just the first and second floor publicly accessible areas? Uh, we do have a basement where the parks and rec, where they come in to buy their swimming permits and oh, okay. permits at the lower level. Okay. That's what the oak room is down there where people can rent that out. Gotcha. Uh, but that's on, they enter usually on that back side. On the back side of the, the building. Basement. Okay, yeah. we'll go check that lower out too. Level. Very good. Lower level is the LL on the Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll take the elevator now. <laughs> All right, great. Well, th I'm just going to look out here. This is nice. Yeah. we got a beautiful... Uh, Beautiful view everywhere you look from here. Well, have a wonderful day, ladies. Thank we you. appreciate you. Thank you. Want to take the elevator? You want to Either way, whatever. Yeah, let's go down the stairs. Yeah, take the stairs. I got stuck in an elevator for 45 minutes when I was three years old by myself. We lived in an apartment building. So I'm traumatized for life. That's the truth. That's the real reason I don't go in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Right down here. Cool. Oh, there's 
downstairs and check out parks and recreation where they give out this, what she say, swimming permit? I think so. You need a permit to swim? You need a permit to swim. And it's green. Oh, thank you. You want to remain unlocked in amplified oh, It really is like a basement. Now it's locked to try to get you out and just try to So it looks like elevator, restroom, stairs, kitchen, cedar, elm room, oak room. She was saying something about oak room. Remember? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So let's see where the oak room is. Parks and Rack's over here. Yeah, check that out first. Yeah. So we have a little kitchen here for the staff. A couple of vending machines, which I'm sure are full of healthy drinks and snacks. And yes, I did turn the light out. Oak 2. Willow room. You can hear people talking in here. I don't know. Sexual orientation, gender identity. Those are all federal protected characteristics. Having a little uh, learning environment going on there, yeah. Check these out. Yeah. What's, uh, you want to see what's over here and then go out there? Or? Sure. Might as well. Lead the way, Maestro. We have a lot of bathrooms in here, in this city hall. Oh, a lot of people. It's a big building. Uh, oh, I walked by and I'm like, maybe it's my sick mind, but I was like, what in the world's going on here? What is that, uh, CPR training CPR stuff? training yeah. stuff, yeah. That's it. Dummy heads and see if you have look at that guy. Good opportunity to test out the low light on my camera here. The uh Lights are completely off in here, so that's cool. Wow. I was testing out the low light on my camera. With oh, the, the low light on your camera is great. Way better than mine. It is. I saw that in the last video. Really? Yeah, there was a... Uh, the lady that drove up in the postal van mm -hmm. walked into the loading dock area and it got real dark and she like disappeared into the darkness on mine and on yours you could see her go all the way into the building. Yeah, look at the, uh, look at the screen. Yeah, mine's not bad, but yours is... It's, it's like good. daylight in there. Watchman's got a real cinema camera. <laughs> I'm glad. I remember every time we used to walk into a dark room in a city hall like that, you wouldn't Just be able to see anything. Yeah. Yeah. It was like you put the lens cap on. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. There's a lot of glare. Yeah. We have an issue with the polarizing lenses that we got. There's no way to adjust them with the lenses. We're trying to find lenses that actually have cutouts, so we can adjust the polarizing filter. So, uh, if any of you out there know where we can get something like that, please try it because we've been lucky. Oh, that's the other side of the uh, oak room, yeah, where they got the class going on, seminar, or whatever it is. Republic of China, Taiwan. We will get agreement for the establishment of a sister city relationship between Leewood and Ilan. Yeah, right. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi. Hello. The glare on the window, I didn't even see you sitting right there. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks.
So since we're old friends, can I just ask your first name and what you do here? Chris. Chris? Uh, yeah. My name's Jason, Chris. Hi. Hi. And what is your position here? Recreation technician. Oh, very cool. You get to hang out in the nice cool basement when it's hot out. Right. Yeah, I'm jealous. It's a beautiful building you have to work in. It is. Yeah, it really is. I have a good view. You, great view. Yeah, for everywhere in the building has a great view. Yeah. Do you live here in Leewood? I do not. No? Well, maybe uh, one day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to afford it, to tell you the truth, from what I hear. I'd like to be out in the country. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. You can commute to work. It's easier, right? Right. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. So a quick question for you. You have a wonderful staff here at this building, and I'm wondering if your city manager, is city manager or mayor? Um, I, don't, I can see who's in the office today. Yeah, I just want to really just thank somebody for the cordial welcome and sure. great experience and yeah. let them know how well it went. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, because uh, they deserve an acknowledgement here because as you guys know, who walk on the video or somebody else's, uh, it doesn't always go that way. You know, they say people only leave complaints, they don't leave uh, compliments. So, maybe a reminder for all of us to start leaving some compliments when deserved. How do I? He'll be walking out of this Oh, okay. This is the city manager. Hello, Hi. how are you? You're a city manager. Yeah. My name's Jason. No. Jason yes. Gutterman. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. I have to go pick up the marriage. So. I'll only take one minute of your time. I'm sorry, what was your name? Scott Lambers. Scott Lambers. I just want to tell you, this is my son, Ben. Hi. Nice to meet you. And we've been traveling the country for three years, exercising our right to take video and photographs in public spaces. Mm -hmm. And we don't always get this generous of a welcome. Oh. So I just want to tell you, from our perspective, one man's opinion, you have a wonderful staff here. You have a beautiful building. Uh, this young lady here, as everyone else, made us feel very comfortable, very welcome, answered our questions, gave us some good information. Appreciate and, that. I'm uh, sure she'll remind me when her valuation comes up. Yeah, well, she should. She's got a beautiful smile, too. She's a perfect person to have sitting behind your information desk. No, really. And I just want you to know that, you know, in all city halls and all town centers, it doesn't always go this way. And yeah. it should. I was just saying to the camera, not only should you be allowed to come in and check out your building, uh, but you should be made to feel welcome and sure. have a comforting feeling and your questions answered. So you guys did that today, and I don't want to be the guy that just complains when there's a complaint, so I want to compliment when well, there's a compliment. Well, thank you. Uh, compliments are rare, so we certainly appreciate it. No, and we thank yeah. you. And this situation for us is rare, so we certainly yeah. appreciate that. So wonderful experience. Yeah. We appreciate you. Stay thank safe. You. And definitely uh, smile upon her when she comes up for a raise. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All your – no, thank you. All your staff. I mean, seriously, it's a – it's a wonderful thing. It means a lot to a couple of guys traveling, coming in off the road to have a cordial welcome. Sure. Where are you going next? Uh, you know, we don't really decide until we're going. Oh. So uh, we'll see. Uh, three-sided light. Well, yeah, I didn't, for 30-something years I didn't. Oh, I'm living okay. a whole new life now. You know how that goes. Well, Hopefully. I'm structured, yeah, unfortunately. You'll be there soon. All right. Just keep smiling, Scott. Thank we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, all right, guys, uh, I'm in shock. Uh, very pre pleasant surprise here at the Leewood City Hall. And uh, everyone was cordial and respectful and uh, had smiles on their faces, and nobody tried to give us a hard time for taking video here. So uh, really not what you expect, uh, to be honest, when you come to uh, both smaller towns and especially wealthier smaller towns um, often have an issue when you come into municipal buildings taking video. And that was not the case here. We really appreciate uh, the way they handled the situation and didn't even really make it a situation. It doesn't have to be uh, any big deal. Two guys coming in and uh, checking out City Hall. They got a lot of cool decorations all over the place, historic stuff, and there's no reason why anyone should be upset about that, and they weren't. So um, big thanks to everyone working here. Uh, Melissa, the ladies upstairs, um, the uh, lady down in Parks and Recreation, Scott, the city manager, really commendable. So. As always, if you want to let me know what you think down in the comments, feel free to do that. And if you want to uh, let the City Hall know you really appreciate the way they handle this and uh, 
that let them know that there sh they should be an example for other city halls out there. Contact info for them will be in the description as well. And uh, that's great. Great outcome here and the uh, Leewood City Hall. So definitely check out the description. Like I said, contact info's down there and uh, also a lot of other info and playlists. Make sure you check out playlists. I uh, have many of them on my channel, one for each state we visited. And you can see all the videos from each state individually organized in the playlist and uh, see if we've been to a city near you. So as we've been announcing recently, we're going on our biggest trip yet, over 15,000 miles. So keep your eye out for that. And uh, if you like this video and you appreciate what we do, you want to see more videos like this and you wish all city halls treated the uh, public like this, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my other social medias and uh, make sure you have notifications turned on here on YouTube. So watching The Watchmen out with Amagansett Press here in Leewood, Kansas. See you in the next one, guys. Yeah. Uh.